Hello beautiful souls. I hope that you're doing well and staying safe and healthy. I'm here to bring forth the message that God wanted me to share. And it's the creation of how our channel, God's Love and Light 1111, had came to be a fruition. So when I was spiritually awakening back in 2021, I didn't realize at that time too, I was going through an ascension process. And for those that have gone through the process, you know how uh, difficult that is on your physical body. Um, there's symptoms that you normally do not have that you can't explain and I did not know I was going through this at that particular time but I also did not know that I needed to seek any medical professional guidance or help so if you do go through that process um, please do just so that you are comfortable and um, that you get all of the uh, support that you need and medical advice since I am not a physician or a licensed physician to offer you any type of advice, please use your own discernment for your own life decision and choices because you do hold the power to control your destiny and where it needs to go and where you can lead it. And God gives us the free will to make the choices of the life path that we decide to go on. And um, with God, God is always, always there to help you through it. If so, you should ask, pray, and receive the blessings that God has for you. During my spiritual awakening, it was a very powerful, the most powerful spiritual awakening that I've received. And pursuing that, God has given me gifts and talents that I did not even know existed or that I have within myself. So the very first thing that I realized when I was spiritually awakening was that literally a lightning bolt came down and I, I was brought to my knees and it came out of the blue. I was not expecting what had happened to me happened, but it did. And because God was trying to wake me up, using my divine masculine to help wake me up. Because you see, prior to that, I was at a point in my life where I told God that God, thank you for everything. I'm so happy. I'm so complacent with where I'm at. Thank you, God, for everything that you have blessed me with. But you see, it wasn't enough. It was not enough because I was not stepping into my soul mission and my soul purpose that I was here meant to serve and meant to do and meant to share to help those of you that need some clarity and understanding because life is hard. Life is so hard as it is. And just know because you are here, living and breathing, it is a gift. It truly, truly is a gift. And we need to make the best of our life as we can and not waste any more time living a life that's in a lower negative vibration. And don't allow other people to take away any joy that's within your heart. Because 
your only given control to them. Now take your power back. Take that control back. Because you are the master of your destiny, of your purpose. And believe me, you have a greater, greater cause and a greater purpose to serve God. And to bring that light and love that this world needs so much. And that humanity needs so much. And God is asking all of us, each and every one of us, no matter what category that we may categorize ourselves, we should not because we're all one. When I was spiritually awakening, I heard two things, which is why I was brought down to my knees in tears. It was that powerful.